Good morning, Muncie. Dan Ridenauer here, your mayor. Today is Wednesday, October 12th. Um, actually, can't believe it's already October 12th, um, but uh, that's, how, that's how it works. So today is Wednesday, October 12th. It's kind of gloomy. Uh, some good chances of some rain during parts of the day. Temperature's kind of nice, but, uh, you know, just be, uh, be safe out there and um, enjoy as you can. A couple of things on this week's update. Uh, Iron Man 70.3 was held last week. Uh, so uh, we're very proud to have uh, literally over a thousand, I think there were 1,300 signed up, um, athletes plus their families come to our city. It's great for our retail, great for our hotels and our, and our restaurants and so forth. So we were excited about that and having them here. And uh, also want to give a special thanks to the Prairie Creek team. Uh, they made the part, the Prairie Creek Reservoir looked like it was in pristine shape. It, it looked really nice. Um, and also to the Muncie Sanitary District, we coordinated with them and they were able to put together a way to eliminate a lot of that trash and uh, do as little dumping as possible. And so we're really proud of, of what we did to get as little going into landfills as possible. And Iron Man was all behind that as well. So nice collaboration there. Uh, and it's a good, good show of things uh, to come in our city. And uh, thank you to MSD for uh, the help on that. Also to all the people who volunteered. Uh, there are a lot of people out who were out there for hours, uh, uh, making sure those athletes had a great time, making sure they were safe and we appreciate that so much. Um, we did have a City of Muncie team. Uh, we've, that team was myself, controller Craig Wright, and uh, Prairie Creek, uh, the person that runs Craig Creek, Dustin Clark. He did the swim, uh, Craig Wright did the bike, and I did the run. We finished as a team in seven hours and nine minutes, so we were pretty pleased with that. Uh, it was an interesting weather day, uh, very cool, uh, but we are excited about that. It is now fall planting season, so we have planted the first 50 trees of the 1,000 trees in 1,000 uh, days that is occurring here in Muncie as part of that initiative. We have another group of plantings that are occurring this week, uh, so be looking for that. We appreciate all of our work that our Urban Forester does, uh, the Urban Forestry Board, and also uh, the, the, the planting crews, we're always looking for volunteers if organizations want to help and plant. Helps green up the city, it's beautiful, it's good for our air quality. Uh, also can provide some good Indiana fruits and uh, chestnuts and, and other things. So uh, if you want to participate, uh, reach out to the city. We'd be happy to look for, uh, have people who would volunteer. This is also Cancer Awareness Month here in October, so you may see some police cars that are, have a pink uh, sideboard. Uh, so j just as a way to make sure that uh, we've all, I'm sure most people have had family members and or know of people who have suffered from cancer and uh, many can recover, but we just wanna raise that awareness. So our police vehicles and uh, other city officials have been doing as much that show that pink and show that cancer awareness as possible. We're proud of IU Health's Cancer Center and we're also very supportive of the Little Red Door which provides a lot of funding and travel and other things for those who are going through that situation at this particular time. So thank you to each of those organizations as well. Halloween is just around the corner coming up. There are several different trick-or-treating type events that are available, so I'm gonna read some of these off. On Saturday, October 22nd, Prairie Creek Reservoir will hold its Holiday Bash. That will be from 5 to 8 p.m. That'll be at the North Campground. There will be, also, there will be a trunk or treat event at Heakin Park. That will be uh, also, uh, that'll be on Saturday as well. That'll be from six to eight. And then on the 29th, the Muncie Animal Care and Services will take, have a trunk or treat of their own at the animal shelter. That'll be from three to five. That will include a costume contest and a lot of other activities. And then the official day for citywide trick or treating is on Monday the 31st. And you can also attend 
the trick or treat event from 5 to 8 p.m. here at City Hall. I'm sorry, from 6 to 8 p.m. here at City Hall. That will involve the police and fire. So they'll have police vehicles, they'll have uh, fire trucks and ambulance, and they'll have those. And we've done, this is our third year in a row for having this event. That'll be on Monday the 31st, actually on Halloween from 6 to 8 p.m. So take advantage of those. If that's something you'd like to do, bring the kiddos. They can uh, get some uh, candy and enjoy putting on the costume. So we hope the weather is nice and accommodating. There's also some demolition work going on downtown. I know they've got, this is at the Canal Square, which is just off the Wheeling Street Bridge at High Street and Franklin. So that little section where Canal Square was, most of that is torn down, but they still have one wall here on High Street. Uh, and that, for to do that, they may have to block off part of the travel lane. So be aware because they don't want it falling on a car while it's traveling. So they're down to that final wall. So uh, just be careful. Know that it's going on. I can't give you any more details there. They're working out there every day. But most of the buildings are down. But they have the one wall on High Street that still has to come down. It was the two-story wall. And I know that they are probably going to block off one of the street lanes when that time comes up temporarily to, just to protect the, the safety. And then for paving, I know the paving crews are still finishing up some minor detail work just off Burlington in the subdivision that we paved using the city's new equipment and using the city's staff. So we're real excited. They continue to work on those. Uh, we've got another area in town that they're going to be doing here uh, either, I think, next week. That one will start. And again, we're working on uh, getting better. And then next year, uh, we will be using our crew, our equipment, and our funds to pave m more of the neighborhood streets. And we'll use the contractor to do the big jobs that are multi-lane across. And uh, so we're looking forward to that. Also, the sidewalk crew, just so you know, is doing some prepping work on 8th Street and 12th Street. Uh, so uh, over uh, pretty much south, right south of downtown, probably in the South Central neighborhood, maybe touching into Thomas Park, Avondale. But uh, just know that they're in that area and so is the patching crew. So keep that in mind. And also, if you come across an area that needs to be paved or patched, I found one yesterday. If you go to the city website, you can you can press report it, go to street department, and it will, you can put in the exact address uh, or a, a rough idea of where that property is. Just describe it. It'll go right out on a work order. And so uh, the team will get those orders the next day and go out and get things handled as, the, uh, as they can. So just know that that report it button is on there. And we appreciate you using it. It's what I use when I have one, because I know then it becomes a work order. You're welcome to call as well, but if you use the reported, it becomes a work order and the team gets it um, right away. As far as some other upcoming uh, recreational things that you could take advantage of, the Muncie Civic has the Hunchback of Notre Dame. It opened this past weekend and it will be running at the Muncie Civic through October 30th. So uh, you've still got this weekend and parts of next weekend. So uh, take advantage of that. The Ball State Cardinals will be home against UConn this week. Let's see, that game time is at 2 o'clock on Saturday. So be aware of the traffic in and around that area where Schumann Stadium is. There will be some traffic uh, delays in that area as people come in and out for that game. So that, that, that'll be against UConn. And then also the Kamat Cruisers Car Show is going to be on Sunday. We just wanted to let people know that this was, being ha this was happening. It'll be at... Uh, Kamak Station. It'll be from 3 to 7 and you'll be able to see some beautiful classic cars and also it will be a way to support Toys for Tots uh, and there will also be um, a 50-50 raffle. So that's pretty much the update for this week. We look forward to uh, talking with you again next week. Have a great day.